Neil. Uh, good morning. It's uh, 3 a.m. <clears throat> it's good to have you here instead of queer as folk. Uh, we're shooting out on location today. It's a very exciting day for us here. Um, it's a big scene. I'll tell you all about the scene a little later on today. Um, this is, uh, for those of you who haven't been to the Queer Folk Production Offices, this is where we're headquartered. This is, uh, we just built this building, thanks to all the money we've made off of Queer Folk last year. Uh, these are the new Queer Folk Offices. Uh, I have the penthouse, of course. I don't know if I've mentioned that I'm the most highly paid member of the cast. This is my room. Sorry. Security. Hi, Jim. How are you? It's Hank. Hi, Hank. Sorry. <laughs> He's new. Sort of. Do you have the new keys for this? <laughs> Sorry, it's my... I don't think this is your trailer, sir. You're housing in the bathroom today. Oh. Uh, but, um, anyhow. Well, um, sorry. Oh, God. We're all right. Come on in. <laughs> so uh, this is um, the luxury trailer um, we got. They gave it to me as a gift. Uh, it's actually mine. I own it. Uh, it it's it's a condominium, actually. Good. Thanks. And this is uh, where a lot of the magic happens, right in here. That's actual uh, imported Italian tile. It was a gift from the network uh, after my first episode. They saw the the rushes from my first episode, and they sent the Italian tile over to me. And uh, sneak in front of here. Um, this was imported from Germany. Uh, you actually pronounce that Travelle. That's German for toilet, I think. This I made uh, in a uh, pottery class I'm working at. I spun that. And that's uh, solid silver, of course. Mine from Ethiopia. Frank, I mean, hey, Scott. Hey, um, Scott. Uh, we're going to go for a block. In He's here. We're going to okay. go to block this, which means uh, what exactly again? Uh, we're going to go uh, work it out. We'll figure it out when it. we get there. Yeah. Let's go. This is, this, this is, we're on location, so we're out in the city of uh, Toronto. And uh, let's come on out here and see. I'll, I'll, I'll follow. Okay. We'll see you over at blocking. Okay? It's going to be fun. All right. Don't steal. Typical day. Uh, I like to wake up. Um, uh, at least by five in the morning. I have a, a workout regimen that I need to do to kind of keep myself in top physical condition uh, for all the, you know, the nudity I have to do on the show and uh, the sexual situations I get into. My fans kind of demand a certain amount of muscularity from me. On, and late, oh, late, oh, late, oh late. we gotta go. Come on, come on. Uh, so I, I hope, hope you guys can keep, oh. Where are we going? What's that? And Jimmy, um, when do you want this to start? Jimmy? Jeremy, sorry. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Jeremy. Jeremy, sorry. <laughs> You can make, you know, maybe it's, like maybe if you sort of play it in kind of like a, uh, not a whisper, but you are in a church and you're trying not to make, like you're not screaming after the Right, so more like, yeah, like, stage whisper. okay, okay, you know, we're like, going, kind of go. just get, get your hands off and we're going. Yeah. Kind of thing, like just trying to end it. Yeah, maybe that's what okay. will help you a little bit. Cool. Thank you. Okay. I don't know who that is. I think he's, I don't know if he's a producer or, he just looked important, I thought I'd ask him a question. 
<clears throat> Seems good. Karen? Karen? Yeah. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry. He never gets it right. Like, it's been a year and a half. I've been she's, on the show for a year and she's, a half. She's, she just started working here. She's new. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go back and, love and get... Fred. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Karen, so... Um, <laughs> Kim. Kim, I'm sorry. <laughs> so many names to learn. And you guys saw the set that they built for us here. Yes. Incredible set deck. They came you know, down. A church. It's going to be a, a... Ian, what are we turning this uh, set into tomorrow? Tomorrow, this is going to be the pool, right? The swimming pool. Oh, great. It's really remarkable. We have a really great group of, um, I don't know what you would call them, uh, people who build things. Wizards. Wizards. There's, well, I don't want people to think there's witchcraft going on here because <laughs> they, ba they banned that in some parts of the state. Scott is a dream. Scott makes my life so easy. Uh -huh. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Even when he doesn't remember my name. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. But very punctual, always knows his lines, always ready, with a smile. He brings happiness to the crew. Oh, I have to, my shuttle's waiting. Okay, Scott, you gotta head to hair and makeup. Okay, Sorry. thanks. It's an hour, we only have an hour, and hair and makeup, he needs to be there for okay. as long as possible. Michael, you're, are you, you're Scott Lowell. Yes, are yes you? I am, Are you yeah. on that, that show? Uh, yes, I am. I'm on that, I, that show. I, 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 can I have your autograph? I, here, sure, I, wow. It just so I happens you have a Sharpie. That's great. Yeah, hang on. Um, That's excellent. Here. Piece of paper. All right, don't yeah. shake. It's okay. You're <laughs> oh all right. God. It's all right. What's your oh name? Oh, my God. Jeannie. Jeannie? Is that with, uh, oh my God. Um, with a G or a J? It's with a G. G. E. E. N. N. I. E. Genie. Yeah. That's a really interesting way of spelling yeah. it. <laughs> well, you know, Jeannie likes, you know, Jeannie. With the light oh brown God. hair. You kind of oh have light brown hair. <laughs> That's great. It's are so, you shoot? Are you shooting? We're right actually now? yeah, we're shooting in this um, uh, religious building. Oh my gosh. Over oh here, goodness. and that's great. There you go, oh Jeannie. Gosh, it's really you. nice to meet you. Thank Never you so having much. met you before. Thank you so much. It's really nice to meet so you too. Great Thanks. To meet you. Oh, it's, Thank it's you. my pleasure Thank to meet you. someone <laughs> who appreciates the show so much. That's great. But this happens all the time. You know, what really matters is the work, the work that we do um, on uh, queer as folk. Uh, that's what's really important to me. You know, I, I could do it in a bubble. You know, if we worked every day and no one ever actually saw the show, that would be okay with me. Uh, just the satisfaction that I've done a good job. Um, that's really what matters. You know, everything else is uh, what they call uh, icing on the meat. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Hi. Good morning. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. I think they're, I don't know if they're, what they do in there. Oh, it's like a kitchen. I think it's a kitchen. You guys work with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they, I don't know if it's um, soup kitchen or something for, oh no, that's very nice. Which is offer you breakfast when you go by. Oh, oh, you you have something from? That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, sure. Well, yeah. let me show everybody <laughs> what it is they made here. This is um, they made this fruit. There's a tree they grow things on for me here. These are oranges and uh, avocados, and uh, this is um, a type of. Uh, breakfast product. That's great. Thank you. This is perfect. And we'll wrap it up and we get the smiley face on it here because it's, um, you. it's a, uh, Monday, isn't it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks, uh, you people in the tri- uh, You're with us, right? <laughs> I don't know. They think they, um, it's what happens. You walk by. They have these portable restaurants here in Toronto. They don't really have them down in the states, but up here they have these portable restaurants on, in trucks. This is terrible. This is terrible. Don't they have? Can we have someone to clean this up? Look at this guy. I don't know what he's. PJ. 
his name is, I think his name is PJ. PJ? Um, can we have someone take care of this? Is there someone who can take care of this? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's Peter Page, right? No, I'm, uh, Scott, I'm sorry. Oh, are he's, you on the show? With us. Yeah, he's, that's funny. Thanks, PJ. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a major rush. You can, I, are I, you? Oh, you got yeah, things to do. I've got to, I've I got to smoke this cigarette before, I understand. That's great, uh, before but, we get back. Um, to... I would think before we could start shooting mm. that someone would need to take care of this. Yeah. I just wanted to alert you to it. Thank I don't you. want to I'll, cause a scene I'll, I'll or anything. I'll call locations. About they'll, it. they'll be on it in no that's time great. at all. Thanks. No time at all. Thanks, PJ. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, it's, it's Juan. Juan, I'm sorry. Didn't look. See, now what's terrible, he won't be with us for very long. Uh, because of his attitude, um, that should be taken care of, because someone is going to trip and fall on that, and uh, and it's probably going to be Peter Page, who I work with in this scene. And if I don't have my scene partner, it's rather difficult for me to do the scene. I mean, I've, I'm used to acting alone in a lot of the scenes I do. Even if someone else is there with me, I don't really focus on the other people. But still, that's a shame. It's a shame, and it's. I think that's the difference between, uh, hi. Ah, uh, my name is Mr. Lowell, right? Yes. What a lovely <laughs> um, accent you have. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's my name's wonderful. Anna. And, uh, Anna, Anna? Uh, Anna, Anna. Anna, Anna. Yes. Where's that from? Well, um, it's a long story. I'm from all over the place. Oh, and wonderful. I'm here in Toronto right now studying. Oh, and, uh, thanks. I, I was wondering if you could, um, sign your autograph for me. Oh, sure. Would yeah. I don't usually a, do these um, things, but, um, that's just my grocery list let's see um i have a uh, uh you could sign this for me oh it's your um your metro card oh, yes well, from the city of new york how yes. weird that, that you would have that up well, here in you toronto know, like i said i'm from all over you sure are you, you travel yeah. quite a bit don't you yes i do and so it's anna 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 yeah um it's a n a n n a a n a n n n a uh yeah okay <laughs> Well, thank you so much for people. Your show. You know who you are. I don't need to spell it right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's not a spelling um, lesson for you. Thank you again. There so you much go. For your show. I, oh, you're welcome. I Anna, love. Anna, Anna. I love Peter Page on the show. It's it's really so much fun to watch it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. No, thank you. This is um, a, a landmark here in um, Toronto. Uh, I think it's supposed to represent some kind of a bowl turned upside down. Not quite sure. Uh, this right here um, is on loan uh, from Seattle, Washington. Uh, it's called the Space Thimble or something like that. And they, um, they, they borrowed that. Uh, they sent it here, kind of like they sent uh, the f uh, French, set the uh, Statue of Liberty uh, to the United States to borrow. We kind of... Uh, it's not really France, but they speak French up here. Oh, I don't, we don't want to get hit here. Let this let these people through. You're okay. I see you. How are you? Um, it's great. He, I think, parks the cars for us. But yeah, so we, we lent that to uh, Toronto uh, as part of some exchange program. I think we got some uh, croissants or something in exchange. So it's a pretty good deal. So uh, we're coming up on the trailers now again, the place where I go in and do things. So uh, what I do now is uh, these are my everyday clothes, as I call them. Just your average shirt and a microphone that I usually wear and jeans. And I knew that the blue goes with the blue. Um, I don't know if you had Garanimals growing up. I did, and it really helps the Garanimals for adults that they have now. Blue and blue goes with blue. This, I kind of threw it a little crazy because I was feeling, I knew you guys were coming, and I threw some black in to kind of mix things up a bit. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is get into uh, the clothes. Hi, good morning. Uh, the clothes that they put on me for uh, the character of uh, Ted that I play. And uh, then we're going to go to uh, this place where they, they put stuff on your face and they, um, 
uh, and they make you look a little different because I look a little different. This is, it, it takes some time. It's a lot of prosthetics that they glue on me. And uh, that's not me. That's, good morning. How are you? Uh, this is me, right? Hi, Hank. Um, so I'm going to go uh, change, and uh, I'll see you in the, the place where they do the other things. Great. Thanks for walking with me. It's been fun. Good morning. <sighs> Who are you? Who's that? Oh, it's uh, Peter. It's Peter. Uh, Scott. Where, where should I go it's, first? It's Peter. Peter, sorry. Hi, uh, how are you doing, Stan? Steven. I'm sorry? Steven. Steven, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hank? 20 minutes. 20? 20. that. I'm going to need a little more time than that. I figured that, so I'll stall if I can, but uh, what do you think? We haven't even. Well, look, I mean, first, I told uh, PJ there's that banana peel out there. They need to make this a two hour makeup job. <laughs> All right, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to do the best work I can. I'm trying That's to make cool. the best show we can. I don't know what you're here for, hey, but. You know, All right. We're working hard here. All right, Hank, thanks. All right, it's great. It's George. What's your name? It's George? Yeah. Great. Looks good. <clears throat> We're not going with my hair like this, though, are we? <clears throat> that'll be up to that'll be up to Peggy. Who? She's the girl that does her hair every day. Oh. I thought her name was Margie. That's Peggy. Peggy? Peggy. It's Margie. Helen, Helen's the pregnant woman. She's pregnant. Any day. Wow! I was I gave her a diet book just yesterday. I thought she'd gotten really. Well, she probably appreciated it anyway. Well, they should, you know, they should put a memo out to people to let you know when someone's pregnant and when they're just faking, getting kind of, you know, putting on the winter 15. I don't know how someone's supposed to know. And, you know, I, I'm so into working out that, you know, the body is important to me. And if I see someone getting a little heavy, like I thought uh, Helen, Hannah, Helen. He Helen was, that, you know, I'd like to help them out. That's well, I appreciated the anorexia book, but... Well, yeah. I was worried about you, Stan. And it's, you know, you can do yourself some serious damage. I'm, yeah, well, I'm better now. Good. Well, you look better. Yeah. You're not quite as jaundiced as you usually are. <clears throat> should I explain to them about the glasses, or should we just... That should be your thing. That, why... Well, because... Why do you have the glasses on today? Scott's really interesting presents it in challenge. I always wear them. In that we're not we're not really supposed to say hello or, or greet him or look him in the eye. So I thought it was kind of difficult. But explain why. It's not like, you know, it's a star trip well, or not, anything. It's, it's not just like it's a question of staying focused. And when someone looks you in the eye sometimes or when says you're good morning. Because once once <clears throat> the um wardrobe shit, uh, yeah these things are on me. The, the process has begun, or as they say up here, process. And that means I need to stay focused inwardly. And if someone looks me in the eye, that's asking me to connect with them. And I don't want to connect with them while I'm going through the process or the process. I need to stay inward. That's part of... of of what acting means. Acting, if you go back to the original Greek, means inward. From it's from the Greek. Sorry. Ict, icting, in, in, inward, icting. Close your eyes, please. And so, I. It's not that. It's my process. So he sort of prefers that we don't look at him when we're doing makeup, but that presented a really interesting challenge. So I thought, well, how am I going to, you know, see what I'm doing if I can't, you know, not that I can't look at him, he just prefers that we don't be, or talk. 
na 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 and uh, he understands, you know, I, I, gave, I gave him, uh, actually at the end of last uh, excuse, season... Uh, excuse, please. Uh, it, yes? Um, you're you're uh, Scott, no? Yes, are you with the production? No, uh, no. <laughs> I, um, I was walking down the street and I saw the sign for you're uh, on a queer show. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have my sheet that tells me what the show is. Oh, again, uh, no, um, that's, uh, my name is Varya. Uh, I'm sorry? I'm here, Varya, I'm here for, no, 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 Varya, Varya. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, Why are you asking me where I am? It's funny man. Why is she asking where I am? It's a funny man, you're funny yeah. man. My name is Varya, I'm here. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm in my process <laughs> now, Varya. I just was hoping for, um, uh, autograph. Uh, let me, let Where's me find the guy paper. with the round face and the hair? There's paper. George? Oh Hank? no, <laughs> I have paper. Uh, um, here. Uh, uh, I mean, my, this is not could appropriate. You, could this you not? Is, if you could yeah. just sign, uh, you could sign. Uh, you could sign here. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. okay, and it's vagina. No, Varya. V a r y a. Oh, my mother back home. It's yeah, a it's so fourteen ninety five plus tax. Yeah, you'll, you'll get the charge on this? Uh, mm. You're funny man too. <laughs> yeah, you speak to Hank. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. you. No, thank it's, you. it's my you're, pleasure. You're very good on the show. Um, thank less. you, uh, va variation. So you'll be playing in the first shot now? I'm playing in the first shot now. Yeah, it's an establishment. Great. Well, um, they're going to have to wait now because you let that uh, woman in. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in a zone. I don't know where I'm at right now, Hank. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll get the director. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get Jimmy in here. Okay. Apologize, it won't happen again. Jimmy, the director. Um, so, about five to ten. Who? That kind of thing. Five to ten. I know you guys might be a bit longer. I'll let them know. Well, Hank, because you know I'm the professional I am, I'll be there, and I will find a way into this. But not with your hair looking like this. Not with my hair looking like this. Maggie needs to do something with it. Maggie. What? Peggy. Peggy she's needs new, to do something new, with it. She's new. Great. Thank you, Stan. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Mr. Lowell. How are you? Good, how are you? <clears throat> This is kind of the, uh, the final step of the uh, transformation process. 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 <clears throat> is uh, uh, what Maggie's doing here, making uh, the top of my head into the character's top of the head, which is very different than than mine and what I like to do is I like to not look up during this whole thing and when Maggie uh, who's you know I, I ask not to speak much A because she has a, a horrific accent B because it takes away from my focus but I like to when she's done I do allow her to say done because it's hard to say that word in a way that grates on me as much as some of the other things she says. And then I look up and I see the final product and that's it. Everything I've been building towards is done. That's why we chose the word done. And I'm ready, I'm ready to go. They could roll the cameras right there if they were able to fit them in here and build a set around the chair in here, I could shoot it right here once, once I hear the word done. And I try to ignore the fact 
and this is where the focus comes in, that my scalp is being seared right now by the 150 degree temperature heat that Maggie is blowing on my head, which I've asked her in the past not to do. <clears throat> but for some reason she's doing anyway. And that's over now and the temperature is cooling down. And we're nearing the state of done. Um, uh, working so, with yeah, Scott, working with Scott is a, um, it, it's, it's challenging in the, in the, um, it, I mean, I mean that in the best sense of the word. Um, that went up my nose. Scott, Scott presents so many, um, opportunities for me to work harder and do more of the work, um, and, and um, to really take care of myself and, and present boundaries. Um, That's not it. For that, I, I really... That's not how we do it. Appreciate who you he had, is. You need to start again now, because... Working with Scott. That's not how we do it. What do you mean about it? What the... the that it's there where it is and how you've done it is what I don't like about it. I'll just leave it. I'll do it myself. There, like that. Scott. I apologize. You got kids? What you say? Could I just need a, Could I please have a moment with the hair department? Oh, you look great. Thanks. You look really, really good. Where thank, did you? They you. got you that suit. They, well, they. It's much nicer than my suit. I don't think that's intentional, Scott. I don't. I think. I think that's just the character. No, I think that's fine. It's fine. Fine. Maggie, thank you. That's great. I don't know what. Sorry. I don't know what Stan was doing over here. But that's uh, the process. The process is done. Um, and fortunately, you know, uh, the, the love that we all have for each other here and uh, the kindness and respect we show each other helps us all get the best out of each other that we can. And uh, I think that shows in the final product of um, Queer as fo uh, Folk. So uh, we're done here, and uh, we'll go, and we're going to make uh, our, mo our movie over at uh, that religious building. So we'll see you over there. Come on. event. Everybody who's anybody's here. Everybody who didn't want anything to do with George when he was alive. All the more reason I'm glad I came. Let's find a seat. Oh, here. Hi. So it's, uh, boy, it's already like 10. We've been here for seven or eight hours. And uh, they haven't fed us or anything yet. Well, I had my breakfast, you know, when, when I first got here. But, uh, it's going pretty well so far. Uh, we've got probably another eight or nine, ten more hours to go, I would guess, for this scene. It's tough. And so, you know, the scene, uh, I haven't really talked about what, what the scene is we're doing today. Um, uh, the scene's about Ted, of course. And um, Ted... Uh, Ted brings Emmett to uh, this uh, religious place here, and uh, it's actually um, an event they throw for people who've died that they're, they're having here. And um, uh, Ted uh, really wants to come see this event, 
Uh, he doesn't know the person, but uh, he's kind of into just going to them, and uh, he always thinks it's a lot of fun if you stand up and just say things. Um, so he brings Emmett along to, to get him to say something at this person's uh, dead person thing. And um, that's it. Oh, you come on. Sure, you're all right. Thank you. Thanks. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. He's <laughs> one of my acting students. In between, you see, I, I work with the people, and it's, it's a, I get a lot of my students who come in and um, help us out on days like this. Um, we don't, on the day, we don't get a lot of rehearsal. I tend to go, uh, I usually fly to France. I have uh, my coaches over there, and I fly to France overnight usually, and I work with him. And uh, we do our preparations there. And it's tough because a lot of times I'm learning the scenes in French, and I don't really speak French. So it's uh, sometimes hard when I come back to kind of then say the words in English, you know. But um, somehow I figure it out and I say them. And a lot of times, too, what we'll do is I have someone, um, they have a little earpiece they'll put in my ear. And someone will just say the words for me and I just kind of copy what they say. Um, but that is organic that way. That's how Brando does it. Typical day, all oh, really depends. This is, this is actually a very easy day, in all seriousness. Yeah. Not in the fakery. This is a this is a very easy day for me because this is one scene. Generally, you know, you're in for two or three scenes. You're, you know, working the full 14, 16, sometimes 18 hour days, and it's it can be tough. Much more so for the crew. We never we try to never complain because these poor people are here from dawn till dusk. You know, every single day we occasionally get a day off, and um, so we figure if they're not griping, we're not going to gripe either. <laughs> but uh, it can it can be it can be very long, and so you know, you get up, you get here, you get ready, and you just try to keep yourself up and energized, and uh, not fall asleep in between <laughs> the setups, because these kind of things can take a while, and when you're just just every move of the camera you have to do takes. You know, 40 minutes sometimes, uh, an hour sometimes to relight the whole thing. And so depending on how many people you have in a scene, if you have five people in a scene and you have to cover each person with the camera, you have to move the camera five times. And sometimes that involves complete light, light changes for that to get it to look right. And so to shoot, you know, what on television, when you see it, is only, you know, maybe a 30-second scene could take five or six hours to shoot. So it can be... Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, they're moving things around, changing the shot and things, whatever it is they do um, when I'm not doing my thing. And, um, and I guess we'll be back uh, pretty soon. This is uh, Lonnie. Come out here, Lonnie. And on the other angle, I ask him to. It's been okay. two seasons. Lonnie. Tony. Tony. Tony, I'm sorry. Tony has been with us um, for quite a long time now. Um, so on the show, and he uh, he lets us know what colors things are. Scott's so orange. I'm orange. And um, what else do you do? You kind of mark things up. Yeah, mark things up, run around. That's great. Uh, okay. Okay. It's Lonnie. We're very close here. It's all the... Uh, Tony. Big type. Tony, sorry. Oh, I think I need to get Sandy, what are you doing there? The second season. Yeah. Andy. Andy, I'm Andy. sorry, it's Andy. <laughs> sorry. Um, that's Todd, right? My name's Scott. Scott. Oh, that's right, Scott. <laughs> so many names. Rand, you're Rand. Andy. Andy. Are you ready? No, Lori. Sorry, Lori. And Jimmy? Jeremy, sorry. I thought her name was Marky. Because I would remember, it's the same name, my same name, I remember that usually. It's uh, Greg and uh, two Andys. Not, but no, no Randys. Karen? Me? Yeah. I'm Kim. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry. Hi, Jim, how are you? Hank. Chris is out here, and uh, what? Craig, I'm sorry. Randy's the, uh, he's the guy in the show. So Andy. Ron. Sean. Sean. Hi, uh, how you doing, Stan? Steven, I'm sorry. Shanna. Shanna. Okay, so Tom Best. Tom Best. Thank you, Paul. Oh, yeah, Tom Best. And uh, Shalom, the, uh, what's your name? Chaim. Chaim. Hi, my name is Varia. I'm sorry? Here, Varia, I am here from... Like... I don't know who that is.
still here? Well, it's about <laughs> three hours after the last change. And we haven't really done anything <coughs> here yet. Um, but that's okay. We'll get to it, I think. Um, actually, they keep doing shots, but um, for some reason they keep asking me to step out of the shots. So they've actually done a lot of work. I just haven't really done much here, which is weird, because it's kind of a scene about me. They must have gotten it somehow already in, in the initial shots, and it's just there, and you know, why gild the lily? But um, it's kind of weird that they keep shooting it out. It's kind of peculiar. Can you hear their setting up? Yeah, it's not Kind of a cannon. Clear the lighting, please. Clear the lighting. Clear the lighting. Clearing it. What that means when they say clear for lighting, uh, it's similar when they tell a plane that it's clear for landing. It means everything's okay. You can go ahead and light. So, uh, it's now about uh, quarter to midnight, and uh, we've been here, now we're entering into our 22nd hour. I still haven't really shot much. <clears throat> they keep... Anyway, they're bringing um, uh, these people back in. Live artists. Back, uh, the back, back life artists. What's the background, background artists? Livestock. Atmosphere. Okay. People. Um, I don't know if they actually, I think some of them think there's actually a religious service going on here. I don't know. They're dressed appropriately, which is great. But they're bringing them back in, which means usually something's going to happen and I might actually get to um, do something. We'll probably get ready to get going soon. Now, some of these people, uh, like I mentioned before, not these people here, but people all over there, that's actually um, my Thursday acting class that I teach. <laughs> you'll, and you'll notice there's a difference between that side and this side in terms of the job they do on the show. Did you say flashing before you do that? I was I was focused here. And that was that was good. Shalom, do you need to remove this mic? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> sometimes oh, I should explain this too. Hold on a second, Stan. Um, sometimes Shalom will put a mic in my tie. I don't know if you can see that. Like that. No, they need to know. This is interesting. Because sometimes Chris can't reach me with his big microphone thing. Um, it's not a pole-like structure. And a microphone. Kind of much like this one, only different. So they'll put a microphone right here because it's very subtle. Some of the things I do. Sometimes it's just a, a breath that says so much. Um, just stick my Yeah, I don't know what you put on there. I just crazy glue. I just glue. Glue. Step. Story, story, come, come. He's a mime in his off time. <laughs> mime Galad. Mime Galad. That's what we call him. So that's good. So I'm ready to go. Uh, well, it appears everybody's waiting for me. So we'll let them wait a little bit longer. <laughs> because then they, it's like fruit and it ripens. And then the scene's ready to go.
So this is an episode wrap on Scott. day's work. Hopefully he'll take his clothes it's, back to um, It's 3.30 in the morning now. Bye. See you later. Bye, Bye PJ. So, Brad, see you tomorrow. All right, PJ. Put your bags, please, oh. guys. Your bags. Sorry, Sandy. Everyone's coming through. There you go. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, Randy. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Clear, please. Come on. Sir, I'm sorry there. The sorry there, Jallo. Yeah. So this is uh, this is it. This is the end of the day of work. And um, sorry, hi, Rick. Good job. Thanks, Lee. Um, so uh, thanks for uh, spending the day with me and the uh, night and uh, it's well into tomorrow. Sorry there. Hi, Tom. How are you? Sorry. Always. Yeah. Shalom. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Shalom. You got me. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, and that's uh, and this is this is how it goes. And now um, we don't really get paid, but we do get some free food. Sorry, Rick. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry, Rick. Sorry. Sorry. That's all right. Um, but we got a free carrot. Hank, we all set to go. All right. We're sorry. Sorry, Randy. Great. <clears throat> so. Um, Thanks for watching the, the thing, and um, we'll see you all later. Hi, guys. Here. Um, come and join us, because you can see it's really, it's a warm, fuzzy atmosphere. <laughs> I'm just Thanks. And uh, we'd love to have you here. And I got to go, because... Oh, good. That's yeah. enough. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh. okay. Set. Goodbye. Hi. No. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>